and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Secret of Mana. I am joined as always by Jake. Xion is still with us. How you doing, Xion? When we last left off, I was here in Kipo Village and we needed to do some money grinding. So I went ahead and did that. It was really just one uh, run through the last screen over here to the right. And that was enough to give me enough money to purchase a Kung Fu dress, which I equipped on Xion. She's the only one that can wear it. It ups her defense by 17. I also bought the chain vest for Jake. It ups his defense by 10. And we also bought elbow pads the last episode, which ups their defense by 2 each. So, let's just head out of here and we can start, uh, well, taking on these enemies. Now, I don't know if you guys caught that there. Uh, I sliced the mush boom and then he used his sport. What the hell? This guy's just begging to die. Ugh. Are you serious? These freaking enemies, man. Okay, uh, there are certain animations that each enemy has that you cannot attack them during. Uh, one of those was that mush boom doing the spore attack. I see you. Uh, when he's doing that attack, you cannot hit him. Try as hard as you want. You will never hit him. Oh, there is a path up here. I thought this was a dead end. Is there anything good this way? It's kind of a shortcut, actually. Uh, but I, I should probably take on all the enemies that we fight along the way. Uh, just for just for experience, if nothing else. The game is not very kind when it comes to treasure chests out in the open, or treasure in general. The game does not like giving you a ton of treasure like in other games. Uh, this, this game is is kind of hard when it comes to that, but not necessarily hard in difficulty, but harsh, I should say, when it comes to item, well, giving out any sort of items. Let's, we're trying to take on all the monsters that we see here, though, because I am looking for experience. Damn it, if you had slashed, you would have hit him. See, look, slash, so much better than a poke when it comes to, just, yeah, hit him while he's down. When it comes to the sword for the spear, I would much rather poke, but that's because I'm looking for length. Did I hit him? I did. And down he goes. This, some of these animations, they get to me because they, they don't make sense to me. Yeah, when, as soon as they start moving uh, to the point that they get back up, I cannot attack them in that entire interval, which, which bothers me. It really does. See, look, I killed the other one and the other one lives. Let's shake the shit out of this thing. And what do we got inside? We got a candy, but it won't fit. So it disappears. There you go. That's what happens when they give you a something and you're already full on them. I still have four candies. I rarely use them. I just, you know, don't find the need for them very often. Oh, we can head down here, though. Inside the caves where we find Nico. How you doing, buddy? A strange place need anything I actually don't and I don't need to save either he doesn't really have anything uh, that I want uh, a couple like, I guess you could say minor upgrades in terms of armor but that's not really what I am looking for at this point uh, let's head in here I have, I have plenty of armor right now and we can take on this isn't the way to the witch's castle where are you going fine we'll leave Never wants to do what I do. Freaking Xion. So, she is pretty much preventing us from going anywhere other than the witch's place, which is in the haunted forest, if you remember correctly. So we do need to head that way, uh, because she won't really let us go anywhere else. So I have done enough, well, level grinding, I guess you could say, but, you know, killing all the enemies that I see on screen. Seriously? Stop poking when I want you to slash. That is not good. Oh, wait, isn't there a path? I swear there... You guys did respawn. What the hell? Uh, no, it must be further up this way then. I was mistaken. This is... This is all a side path. Oh. Why are you trapped on... We're trapped on the screen because you're trapped, Xion. What the hell is your problem? Come on, let's go. You can, you can go ahead and die, for all I care. Fucking Lily! 
Now, yeah, I need to go around that way, which means I have gone the long way around. Where the hell did that guy come from? I'm going to avoid all these enemies for now. We have taken on enough of these. Can I head up? Oh, this is actually where I wanted to go. Fair enough. So, we have the Haunted Forest to the north and Gay's Naval to the south. We need to go to the Haunted Forest first because little Miss Prissy Pants right here says we have to and she refuses to go anywhere else. Medical herb, that is something I have room for. So let's go ahead and put it in my trusty sack. Now, oh, well, I saw you moving around already, so I know what's up with you. What does this say? Haunted Forest, Gay's Naval. And, oh, a lot of these are are fine, but you can see the ones that are a little bit out of position, aren't symmetrical with the rest, aren't in a pattern. Those are the ones you need to attack. Yeah, they're monsters and gays never all So the floodwaters sweep some kid into it. That is no good. So let's head up here, and it looks like a dead end, but it does lead us into a forest. This must be the haunted forest. Now these are Chobin Hoods. Uh, they are... Uh, very familiar if you did play Sword of Mana. These guys are, well, they're not that um, that tough, but they are an upgrade compared to what we have been fighting to this point, especially since they are ranged. They can hit you with their arrows. So you want to find the flowers that are between you and your enemy. Like this one won't be, that one can't be cut, however these two here can. So you want to use that to your advantage so you can get in close to these guys. These guys will run from you at all times. Okay, apparently when they're in their surprised animation, I cannot attack them. Up, oh, yes, over and around. Thank you. Now we can go up here. I might have to start using the select button just so I can maneuver. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that though. Whoa, he hit me for quite a bit there. There we go, hit them both. Oh, if you had Slash, this would have been over by now. This is why I say Slash. But no, you do not listen. I think I have to hold the directional button to Slash, to be honest with you. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. There we go. The Some of the game mechanics are slowly coming back to me. Some of them take longer than others, apparently. And we find Nika once again. This time, even though I don't want to uh, buy anything from him, I will save. Which is, yeah, he'll save the game. Thanks for breaking the fourth wall. Do want to do that, though. All saved and ready to move on. Don't have full HP, but that is fine. I shouldn't really need it. You know, just hold the directional button and then he slashes. That is... That is the ticket there. And Shion has grown to level 6. Very nice. She is leveling up nicely as well. Well, we can't really see that, but any level is a good level. Mushbooms, more blat. These guys are not nice. Ooh, chest. Open up. Just smash it on the ground, and we get money. I always appreciate it. I could always use that for something. Oh, how did that miss? I'm sitting right next to him. Slash, then. I say slash. He's still not dead. These blats are pretty tough, and I missed him because he was in the middle of his getting up animation. And animations take priority over attacks. What kind of crap is that? And what the hell is this? We won't be able to cut this without an axe. I've heard there's a dwarf blacksmith in Gay's Naval. There may be some good weapons there. We'd better go to Gay's Naval first. So now we have finally cleared the path to Gay's Naval. She finally is like, oh, I guess we need to go that way. Yes, I've been saying that forever. Damn it. Friggin' Chobin Hoods. Damn it! No. Dodged. Okay. Dodged again. No! Oh, bullshit! Stop hitting me! That is... What the hell? No! They got me, like, trapped in a cycle here. How the hell did I only hit him for one damage? Okay, you need to start fucking off. That's what you need to do. Fucking Chobin Hoods. Yes, this way. And then there's there's a guy over here? No, there's not a guy over there. Damn it! <laughs> Even when they're off screen, they're just trolling me. They're just like, I know he's coming. Shoot now. Fuck! How do you hit me? Die. Alright, and this can all go away. There we go, and... No, forget it. We're, we're moving on. 
we are moving on out of the haunted forest back the way that we came we can take on these guys these guys are, are easy they only take two hits they die pretty damn fast they don't have any sort of troll attack I slash the man too what are you doing out here I don't trust you I don't trust you in any sort of way I can head over to the right oh this is uh more bomb cannon travel sorry not bomb cannon they're not they're not called that in this game even though even as much as I would like to let's just head south out of here and we can head back to the way that we were going before see what the hell I, I clearly attacked him before he did that animation, but because he did that animation, I no longer hit him. He was immune to it. And we can grab this. Give me something good, a medical herb. You know, I might as well uh, use a candy. Well, since we're here, go candy. Tasty, tasty. Holy crap, it heals you for 100 HP. I no wonder they don't give you very many of those. Now, if I remember correctly, we need to go around this way. Yes, die. And now we can go through the cave that she wouldn't let me go through before. Because she was kind of a bitch about it. Like, this isn't the way that I said. Damn it, I'm on an epic quest of epicness here. Can I fall down the waterfall? I can't. I thought I could. I'm thinking of different games, though. I am happy, though, that in this game, water is not like instant death or completely foreign to the character. You know, if it's too deep, yeah, you can't really do anything in it. But if it's shallow water, yeah, you can walk in it. There are other games where it's just like, holy crap, there's a puddle. You have to walk around it. You don't know how to swim. I've never understood that in video games. I've never understood that logic. 